at Elders of Israel, we primarily uh, dedicate our teachings to the Gentiles. That doesn't mean that we hate Israelites. The problem is a lot of Israelites, they've already made up their minds. They're following these leaders who don't have an understanding of what the Most High is saying spiritually. And so now you're being, the, the Israelites are being led by these people and they're going to go astray. These people are telling lies like the Gentiles are not going to get the kingdom uh, if they, uh, they can't repent, uh, white folks can't repent, all these other things that they're saying. Here at Elders of Israel, we teach what the Bible says. And the Bible says something different, okay? So we're going to give you what the Bible says. This is another reason why we teach the Gentiles at Elders of Israel. It's because that's what Christ did. We're going to go to Mark chapter 3. And we're going to keep reading it until you finally understand that those people are lying to you. And they're causing you to err. And if you follow those people and they tell you that you're not supposed to teach white people. You're not supposed to teach Gentiles, those people can't be saved, and the Bible saying something different, then you choose that person as your God, and you're not following the example that Christ gave you. We'll read it again. We keep reading it so that until it sticks. Mark chapter 3, verse 7. But Jesus withdrew himself with his disciples to the sea, and a great multitude from Galilee followed him, and from Judea, and from Jerusalem, and from Idumea. That means Christ was teaching Idumeans. That's what that just said. All right. You continue to listen to those people who are lying. The reason we have to have to clear it up is because a lot of the Gentiles are following these people too. They literally think they're going to be slaves in the kingdom because they don't know better. So it's our job as prophets to explain this stuff so that these people don't lose faith and then turn away from the Most High because of these wicked leaders. I'll read it again. Verse 7. But he withdrew himself with his disciples to the sea, and a great multitude from Galilee followed him. That, that's Israelites. And from Judea, that's Israelites. And from Jerusalem, that's Israelites. And from Idumea, those are white people. Listen to who you want. But when Christ corrects you in that day and you start talking about having I didn't I uh, cast out devils in your name and you talk about that when he talks about the wailing and the gnashing of teeth, you're going to be angry because you followed that man. He's going to say, depart from me, worker of iniquity. You did what he said. You didn't do what I said. That's what that means. That's what that scripture means. You're following these people. And you're not doing what he did. He taught Idumeans. Let's keep reading. And from beyond Jordan, and they about Tyre and Zidon. Tyre and Zidon are Africans. they Gentiles. They're going to get the kingdom if they convert. If the people convert to the doctrine, they'll get the kingdom. I don't care what your leader says. The Bible's saying something different. From Tyre uh, and about, and they about Tyre and, and Sidon. A great multitude, when they had heard what great things he did, came unto him. So all these people from all these different nations came to Christ. And he was teaching all of them. Because all of them are eligible for redemption. A small ship should wait on him because of the multitude, lest they should throng him. They were trying, they were so many of them, they were overrunning him. That's what it's talking about. For he had healed many, many of those people in that multitude. That multitude was all different races. Everybody can get it if they convert and start doing his spiritual uh, covenant. 